and welcome to the English Box. Today we are going to talk about the past continuous tense. I'm going to start by talking about my first day at work. Can you spot the examples of the past continuous? So, I remember my first day at work very well. When I walked into the office, several people were typing busily. Some were talking on their phones, and the boss was shouting instructions, and customers were waiting to be helped. One customer was yelling at a secretary and waving his hands. Others were complaining to each other about the bad service. I wondered what I had let myself in for. So, did you spot the examples of the past continuous? We have numerous examples, such as people were typing busily, some were talking, the boss was shouting, customers were waiting, a customer was yelling, and others were complaining. These are all examples of the past continuous. So how do we form the past continuous, and when do we use the past continuous? So first of all, let's look at the structure. We start with the subject, then we have the auxiliary verb to be in the past tense, and then we have the verb with ing. So in first person, I was yelling. Second person, you were complaining. Third person, he was waving. First person, plural, we were talking. And third person, plural, they were waiting. To make these sentences negative, all you have to do is to add not to the auxiliary verb to be. I wasn't yelling, you weren't complaining, he wasn't waving, we weren't talking, or they weren't waiting. How about to form a question? For a yes-no question or a closed question, all you have to do is invert the auxiliary verb to be and the auxiliary. Was I yelling, for example, or were you complaining? For an open question, you put the question word before the auxiliary. Why were you complaining, for example? So we've looked at the structure. But when do we use the past continuous? Well, the past continuous expresses an action that was in progress at some point in the past. So we often use it for interrupted actions with a past simple action. We can also use it to describe two actions that were happening at the same time in the past. And finally, we often use it to describe background events in a story. Let's look at this in a little bit more detail with a timeline. So here you have the timeline, in the middle you have the present, and we have an example time of 5 p.m. yesterday. So we can say at 5 p.m. yesterday John was playing. The action started before 5 p.m was in progress at 5 p.m. and continued after 5 p.m. So in this case, we use the past continuous. While, when or whilst John was playing, Ian was eating. So here we have two simultaneous actions, two actions happening at the same time. So we use the past continuous in both instances. And finally, Lucy was cooking when the phone rang. So Lucy was cooking before the phone rang, and then the phone rang and interrupted this action. So the first action is the past continuous, and the interrupting action is the past simple. So now if we return to our story, you can see that all of these actions were happening when I walked into the office. So you could say that me walking into the office was an interrupting action, or I could be describing these actions as part of my story, things that started before I walked into the room and were in progress when I walked into the room.
Okay, that brings us to the end of the video. I hope it has helped you. If you'd like to subscribe, click the big fat subscribe button. If you'd like to see a fantastic video all about the tenses, click on the pink button. A video about funny words, click on the green button. And be sure to like this video if you liked the video. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.